Hi guys, this is Jeremy again. So today I'll be bringing you all another of my Funko Pop series. And this is the Star War number 31 R2D2. So I'm sure anyone who actually like to see Star War, I'm sure you all know what this character is. So now this is the front view of the box. And the side view and the back as you can see there's actually six different character and in fact I actually have them all and uh, I have the other now the other side is uh, the R2D2 picture and the top view and now this is the bottom view okay so let's unbox and see how R2D2 looks like out of the box so the usual you know the trans translucent cake the translucent plastic cover and the you know they always come with a back back cardboard and then now this is R2D2 out of the box Yep, so this is how he looks like. Okay guys, so this is R2-D2 out of the box. As you can see, this is the front view and you can see that he's actually a bit slant. You know, more, a bit lower on this side. So later I'll explain to you, you know, why is that so. And then uh, this is the side view of him and the back view and then this is the other side view so basically as usual you know uh, Funko Star Wars they actually come with the bottom plate which is this and now let's take out the bottom plate and show your and as usual you know you have to remember that there's a few things that you have to look out for the Star Wars trademark sticker and then you know the Lucas film and the Funko make in China and then the series number and now with the plate out of the way now this is he can actually stand on his own quite sturdy you know it won't won't really tub, tubble over very easily and the reason why he's actually uh, there's some problem that he can't, he, he can't really stand very straight I'm not sure you know does it apply to every set or just only my set only because I hope you can actually see there's actually a, a center pole which is actually right inside here it actually stretch all the way and then there seems to be a plate or something like that to hold on to the spring and all the way to here so the whole whole R2D2 the top is you know it's like kind of like springy and you know it kind of like springy you can go down a bit you know tilt a bit to the front and the back but you can't really go too much and i hope you can actually see from there there's actually a spring set inside there and there's kind of like which is attached to some kind of centerpiece there which actually you know the spring actually go from inside to attach to the head that's why he's actually this is springable and this tool is kind of like fixed Okay, and as you can see here, uh, this the color is actually quite different. This is actually a bit of like beige, yellowy beige like that. You know, and then this is actually white color. And the painting is, uh, you know, the usual, the painting is actually quite bad. You know, like here you can see the painting different. And then here, the silver with the blue there's a bit of smudge on the blue out and you know here they actually make the gold color I do like you know like they actually try to have you know more details on on the body all these a lot of all these kind of like small small detail all these which is very nice the only thing is that the color painting is actually quite bad you know and here and the other the other legs is actually quite a similar to the other side oh. you know, the, the way this leg is 
you know this the workmanship for this leg uh, is actually is it's actually not it's actually quite bad i'll say you know very roughly done very rough this is actually quite very rough you know and then the two holes below and then this is the body you know they actually try to you know put in and this uh silver box is actually kind of like like sticker or paint on or you know like those kind of like like stick on you know and then here below painting the kind of like you can see it's like really smudge the painting job is quite bad i'll say lah just uh but the thing is that the detail all this is actually the rest of it the detailing is actually is quite nice and this is r2 d2 uh, eyes or oh, it, it, to me it's like the eyes you know is where they kind of like should be should be from here to capture the thing the, the image and then the side and the back very nice and the small you know like things that's sparking out that come out of the body and the top here see once again you know they actually kind of like miss out miss out this part yeah so really hope that Funko can improve on their painting but well than well than that actually the whole thing is actually quite nice you know I said that the you know the spring is not not doing well and you know here you can also see like this is like completely two piece even more obvious that the body is not really white color it's kind of like a bit of like you know like beigey like kind of, it, it looks it does look a bit dirty white to me and here you can see like a bit of the color smudge so but still with 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 the the main thing the my main thing is actually my main complaint is always the color of you know funko color the color painting is always quite badly done you know they uh, you know that's the only complaint that i have but <clears throat> end of the day actually their set is still very very nice very cute you know kind of like the big head kind of like character and uh you know so with that so yeah guys so this is the funko pop star wars series the number 31 r2d2 so i hope you guys you know like and uh i see you guys again with more of my review so see you guys ciao